Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Uh, today is Thursday, October 27th. This is your morning prayer. So let us begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, we are in, where are we? We are in Galatians chapter 5. We got today verses 16 through 26. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. But you, if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the law are evident. But sexual. Uh, now the works of the. I'm sorry, works of the law. Now the works of the flesh are self uh, are evident. Uh, sexual morality, impurity, sensual, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife. Jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. We live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. All right. Uh, one of the things I really uh, like and point out in this text is this bit at the top about um, the, these things, the, the desires of the Spirit and the desires of the flesh are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. And um, so, I mean, you can you can look at it two ways, you know, that the desires of the flesh are, are trying to keep you from doing the things you want to do. So that the, the good works that the Holy Spirit has placed for you to do, the, uh, the good things, um, you know, the, the desires of the flesh are against those. But then the desires of the Spirit um, are, are there to keep or are keeping us from doing the things we want to do in our, in our flesh, in our sinfulness. And uh, that's the one that is... <laughs> um, the, the probably the, the more difficult for us to reckon with because you know des the desires of our flesh are you know those are the things we really want um, and those are, those are the things that are, are most tempting to us and you know we look at it, I guess these are the things I want to do and and the, the, the spirit in, in us that, that desires of the spirit are against those um, wants to prevent us from doing what we want to do and uh, so yeah, that's that's the constant battle that we've got going on. That uh, we we have the things we want to do, and the spirit is trying to restrain that. Um, and it's not that you know it, it kind of when you you think about it in that or you hear it that hear that you think like oh okay well yeah following being a Christian following Christ is a, is a life of repression. You know it's just uh, you're, you're repressing your, your yourself, and uh, you know it's it's just that's all we do is we talk about the things you're not allowed to do what you shouldn't do and, and thou shalt not do this thou shalt not do that we all we ever hear is what we're against and um you know and and of course it goes into a nice long list of the works of the flesh you know those things that we should not do um sexual morality i love that's the first one um because that's certainly the one we are most uh um inundated with impurity sensuality idolatry sorcery enmity strife jealousy all, all, all the rest um, and so, yeah, certainly there's, there's a nice long list of, of things that we ought not to do, but the life of a Christian is, is not about repression. Um, it, it, it's about, um, restraining, yes, restraining the bad things, the, the bad desires, the desires that are harmful to us, um, the things that lead to death, you know, but giving free reign and promoting, absolutely promoting the, the things like the fruit of the spirit. You know, and, and it's if you're going to look at the, the repression on one side of the desires of the flesh, 
Well, the desires of the spirit is like, go crazy, go for it. <laughs> um, this is what you are called to. This is what we, we would expect to see and, and what we support and what we, we, we celebrate are, are things like um, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, you know, all the, all, and all that flows from that. So, you know, um, you know, we look at the list and we say, well, that's, that's nowhere near as exciting, you know, sorcery and, and uh, drunkenness. I mean, come on, everybody wants that, right? But gentleness, self-control, <laughs> those are not fun. Um, but, you know, love, fruit of the spirit being love, not, not a self-serving, selfish love that, or not love, but just like desire that only seeks to gratify your own cares and needs and wants, but a love that is, is, is true and, and sacrificial and giving and is, um, you know, in a lot of ways, transformational, you know, that that's the kind of love that, that we're, we're, we should see uh, flowing from, from our faith, joy, you know, absolute happiness, contentment, um, it, 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 joy, <laughs> peace, peace in the, in the midst of the, the chaos of the world, patience that, that we don't, um, you know, that's definitely for, um, as we're dealing with other people, as we're dealing with things in the world, you know, the patience, uh, so that we do not uh, fly off into anger, which that never ends well for anybody. Kindness and goodness. Um, here's where we really get into the service of, of for the neighbor. Um, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Um, all those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires, and new life has been raised in the spirit, and these are the things that we are to to uh, put for put forth in abundance. So um, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, the, the the Christian life, um, you know, it's, it's fine to say like, oh, it's about repression, and then you can look here and say, well, well, sure, it represses some things, and then promotes these other things. Um, Whereas if you say, well, okay, well, what's the opposite to live according to the, the, the dictates of the world of your flesh? Okay. Well then you become a law to yourself. And so you're saying then I'm, I'm freely in, in, in uh, indulging in everything I could possibly want, but what am I repressing? Well, <laughs> I'm repressing moderation. I'm repressing, um, the, the idea that my actions might affect my neighbor. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm repressing the uh, thoughtfulness of um, doing things for someone else, for allowing that to um, be a part of my life. So, I mean, if, if Christianity is repressing, repressing in one sense, um, so is any other way of going about life. Um, you know, you, you can't just say it's, it's, it's throws everything open. No, <laughs> it does not do that. Um, there's always going to be a, a, a repression of, of something that goes against how you think things should be. So it's, it's not really even a, a fair um, criticism to uh, lodge. But um, certainly a lot of times Christians do focus on the negative, on what we prohibit um, or that we would want to restrain. But there is so much more that we are promoting and so much more that we are for. And uh, really, that that could be a good focus, you know, certainly for today, but uh, every day, really, that maybe um, instead of jumping right to what we're against, maybe to um, to start with what we're for, you know, grace and mercy and forgiveness, you know, and, and those kinds of things. And then we can we can have a, a larger discussion about the, the whole uh, picture. Uh, including all this stuff. So good, good stuff. All right. Let us pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Well, blessings to you on this Thursday. Hope you have a great day. Hope you're uh, um, 
your, your, your day goes smoothly, <laughs> productive, um, restful, whatever it happens to be. I, uh, whatever it is, I hope it's good. So have a great day. And until tomorrow, peace be with you.